okay, look, you're you're inundated with questions now. Bad question. Are there any horror stories of a brand completely messing up oh, social media? Oh. Did they recover? Eric, is this Eric from Snag a Job? I love those guys. Eric. That might be Eric from Snag a Job. They they're so awesome. It's interesting because again, social media is the tool, and I, I, we've had clients call and say. We had this horrible social media nightmare, what do we do? And they got a bad review on an online site and 60 people like commented on the blog and, and agreed that this place that they visited was horrible and they had this bad experience. And so your problem's not social media. Uh, the problem is usually something that you're doing in real life and this is just a platform that makes it really transparent and it's out there and so you know recruiting specifically so you have somebody who discriminated against someone or they saw on facebook that this person was pregnant or something it's that recruiter making a bad judgment call and doing something that's a kid that they're not supposed to do anyways and so that's what that's what i think most of the stories and there's a lot of stories out there um like that but usually they're just doing something they shouldn't do in real life so it's kind of like the bad guys get busted so. um okay i just wrote for my um blog post that amanda's writing for me that the problem she said the problem isn't with social media it's in your real life actually it's not just true for the restaurants it's true for all of us yeah. like all the stuff that we worry about for social media is actually we're not comfortable being our true self. So if you're worried that like social media is taking your job or social media takes too much time or anything, it's that you're not secure in your job or you're not secure with time management or it's it's always a real life problem. It's never a social media problem. It's that's such a, that's profound, yeah. profound, yeah, Amanda. Thank okay, you. Okay, go next. Continue okay. on right. with your. I actually prefer Brazen Careers to LinkedIn. I'll just say that. Woo! Yeah, because it's more of a. You know, you get to know people and their ideas better and brazen careers and LinkedIn, it's more kind of, it's, it's very transactional. Uh, it's almost like you have to be there because everybody else is there. But I think that, you know, the bigger that uh, brazen careers grows, it can totally take a lot of that space. But um, yeah, I think you need to be wherever anyone is and just bring your contacts in there. Have a rule that in 24 hours or 48 hours, when you get a new business card or you make a new contact, that you invite them. It's gonna take you some time. It's not easy setting up your network. Like you're gonna to have to invest some time taking every single person you know in real life and making sure that you're connected to them wherever it is online. It's exactly what I had to do before I could quit my freaking job. And but when you do that, you set up, you, you know, you set yourself up. The two things I think are most important to your career security are building a huge network and building your personal brand. And I think you can start to take control and you don't have to worry about some bozo, you know, having control over. One thing that I've noticed about how younger people use LinkedIn, because I'm always talking to younger people, and um, I never invite anyone to LinkedIn, so I'm very conscious of how people invite me. And um, social media is great for meeting someone, like someone will initiate a conversation with me on Brazen Careerist and then invite me to LinkedIn. But if they hadn't initiated the conversation, I wouldn't know who they are to accept the invitation on LinkedIn. So it's like you have to use other social media sources to meet people and then file them on LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is a filing system. It's not yeah. a system for meeting people, so you can't. So has, has TR been hired to actually be an organization's recruiter and or would you do that or are you most interested in helping companies and doing it themselves you know we, again at the beginning we did a lot of direct recruiting because we had to monetize because you know we had to pay our bills but um i'm not interested we have a couple uh clients that we'll do direct we'll do direct recruiting for but i'm not really interested in doing that right now i'm not interested in working a broke system i'd rather have our organization come in and help them fix that and then we can talk about helping them recruit after that. This is a good time because we're nearing the end. I think this is a good time to um, point out that Amanda is not actually talking about how to use social media. Amanda's talking about how to shift how people are recruiting within an organization to like shift how you sort through candidates, to shift who's responsible for what, to shift what you measure your success by. And if you don't do that, then you're not really doing anything. If you're just like on Twitter to see what it's like, but you're not shifting anything, then you're just part of the broken system. And I think Amanda, it's not as harsh, say, I don't think she said this out loud, but I'm just gonna say it, that the world kind of divides into who's participating in a broken system and who's disrupting a broken system. So if you're not annoying everybody who's using a broken system, 
then you're probably just part of the broken system. And if you don't want to be really annoying, then you probably can't be a helper, be moving the world forward in recruiting. And I think that's like kind of, it's the hardest place to be. It's like, you know, if you wanted to talk about civil rights in the 60s, all you could do is be annoying to people. You have to change the system. And that's kind of where we are now. I mean, recruiting is, it's, has to do like 160 degree change so if you don't want to be a part of that yeah that's um a problem you should do something else yeah you should answer jennifer's question because she's been a good webinar she's participant been, and then good. i think you should do like the um beautiful summary you know because you actually have given all the gems tonight i've just been the note taker so you should get like the last word of inspiration, but you have the whole time you're answering Jennifer's question to okay. get to that. Jennifer asks, uh, how do you feel about companies that hire ghost bloggers and ghost Twitterers to communicate with candidates? I think that it's um, absolutely lame. Um, <laughs> it's, just, it's not authentic. And so I think when, when people think, I, you know, I, I know some CEOs that have their PR person tweet for them and you know, if somebody were to find that out, you know, it, this is all about building trust. If somebody were to find out that it's not you, um, you know, this is not good. This is yeah. yeah. It's not good. Look at Nate. Do you know this guy, Nate? Yeah, Nate. I do know Nate. Nate. Nate has a. Um, it starts with us. Can I plug stuff? It starts yeah. with us.com. It's cool. We, we he, he he organizes like drop love bombs on like blogs. So somebody have a really bad day or they got Hello, fired mom. from their, their, their job. So he's yeah. got a community of like 2,000 people that so all of a sudden this blog will get oh, like really? 500 comments from everybody in the yeah, community. So, so somebody nice. has, it's, oh, it starts really? with us.com. Oh, and so you can find somebody that had a really, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, good. Okay, that was a right good one. Now. Okay, 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 okay you're right. All right, Nate, this is a good day for I think you. Okay, it starts with us. Are you, is Nate in HR? No, is, he's just, there's uh, got to be an HR angle to oh, your sorry. blog post. I'll, it's okay, I'll yeah, work it yeah, okay. in. Okay, okay. Well, I like HR that needs one. to work on meaningful work. Uh, oh, oh, okay. that's good. That's good. HR yeah, they need to work on more meaningful work, work on, because work there needs to be a cause beyond how do we get people to pay attention to us and how do we become more relevant. If, if you're working on changing something in the workplace that's going to change people's lives in the workplace and you can get people to get behind that, and then all of a sudden you'll feel more important because you're making a difference in change. Okay, that's sure. really beautiful. Yeah, but that was that good, I, was that it, good it, it is, but look, no, he okay, wants yeah. to know if he should come hang out with us. Okay, <laughs> Nate, first of all, I'm hanging out with Amanda after, but we're going to talk about if you would be fun enough to hang out with us. He's should cool, we, he's Should great. we invite him? Yeah, yeah, he's cool. Okay, Nate, I'm going to give you my cell phone number, and then you can call us when yeah. you get here. Let's oh. hang out with Amanda Nate. tonight. Call 917. Nate, I'm thinking you should drop a love bomb on <laughs> Penelope, is what I think. You should, everybody has their phone number now. You should, like, organize a love bomb drop on Penelope. Right, okay, don't use the 866 area code, because there's a creditor calling from that number, so I don't pick up. Okay. Um, oh, Amanda gave me a handwritten letter today, too, uh, on Kate Spade stationery, and I was like, whoa. I'm going to white out Amanda's writing and resend it to someone so they can have <laughs> Kate Spade stationery. That's great. Okay, Amanda already had a really nice ending, which I tried to write verbatim so I could put it on my blog and say that I said it. So, um, <laughs> great. Oh, plug yourself. What What the hell? Plug, do you so, want, um, you, you should advertise something. Talentrevolution.net. Just, uh, or, or follow me on Twitter, uh, at SexyThinker. With talentrevolution.net, um, stop by, say hello. And you should watch Amanda's videos. It's my favorite thing Amanda does online. Okay. Thank you. All righty. Thank you.